here we go again for another learning video about it's all about historical antecedents of plant breeding and crop improvement so without further ado let's dive in so the start of plant breeding the start of plant breeding began when man first chose certain plants for cultivation it began all about 10,000 years ago when man is believed to have started agriculture so the plant breeding starts with the domestication and the domestication is the process of bringing a wild species under human management so also another fact is that domestication may be regarded as the method in fact the most basic method of plant breeding all other breeding so it's also during the long period of prehistoric and historic cultivation the natural selection has definitely acted on the domesticated species the movement of man from one area to another wrote about the movement of his cultivated species actually so the introduction into an area of new plant species or varieties from other parts of the world is now an integral part of plant breeding so here is the flow of historical evidences or antecedents of plant breeding and crop improvement through the years so, in 19,000 BC, the first evidence of plant domestication in the hills above the Tigris River. In 3,000 BC, is the domestication of all important food crops in the Old World completed. In 1,000 BC, is the completion of the domestication of all important food crops in the New World. It is Assyrians and Babylonians also believe that hand pollinate the, the, the date palms um, artificially during the 700 BC. Rodolf Jacob Camerarios, he is from Germany. Here he is. His first to demonstrate sex and plants and suggested crossing as a method to obtain new plant types. This all the concept happens in, in 1694. Cothon Mother in, in 1716. She is from USA. Observe the natural crossing and in maize. Also Thomas Fairchild in 1717 created the first artificial hybrid, a cross between Carnation and Sweet William. 1727 Villemorin Company of France introduced the pedigree method of breeding. He in the photo, Carolus Linnaeus, who published Species Plantarium, and during his time, the binomial nomenclature was born. The binomial nomenclature is a method of giving each species a name consisting of two words, or what we call right now is the scientific name. So the first name is generic name which is the name of the genus and the second name is the name of species. So the genus name is written by capital letter and the species name is written by small letter and it should be both names be underlined or should be written in, in, in italic form. That's the correct way of writing the binomial nomenclature or the scientific name. Joseph Kuel Ruther, here he is, he is from Germany, that demonstrated hybrid offspring received traits from both parents and were intermediate in most traits. Joseph Kuel Ruther, also in 1761-1766, 
produce the first scientific hybrid using tobacco. In 1847, Robert Reed developed the Rage Yellow Dent Maze. The man who published discoveries and experiments in plant hybridization is no other than Gregor J. Mendel in 1865. He also accumulated in the formulation of laws of inheritance and the discovery of genes. Genes is also known as the unit factor. In 1866, Hopkins described the ear to row selection method of breeding in maize. In 1900, the trio rediscovered independently the Mendel's Law of Heredity and the trios are Karl Korenz, he is from Germany, uh, Hugo de Vries of Holland, and Erich von Schermach of Austria. Remember this, in 1900, they discovered independently the Mendel's Law of Heredity. And this the discovery laid the foundation for modern genetics. 1903, Wilhelm Johansen. Develop the pure line theory of selection. Here he is, Herman Nelson L.A. proposed the multi-factor explanation of inheritance of color in wet carp. It was happened between 1903 and 1905. Between 1908 to 1909. Hardy of England and together with him is Wayne Birch of Germany developed the law of equilibrium of populations. Hardy Wayne Birch law. According to Hardy and Wayne Birch, gene and genotype frequency of a Mendelian population remain constant generation after generation unless there is selection migration or random drift between 1908 and 1910 East here he is establish I mean publish his work on in breeding in 1909 this handsome man J.H. Schall conducted extensive research to develop inbreeds to produce hybrids. In 1919, D.F. Jones developed, remember this, in 1919, D.F. Jones developed the first commercial hybrid maze. In 1926, the Pioneer Hybrid Corn Company established as first seed company in 1920s mutagenesis known as the induction of mutations using mutagenic agents or the mutagens such as radiation or chemicals became a technique for plant breeding 1934, Dustin discovered colchicines. These colchicines are used to make a fertile polyploid hybrid. The colchicine, the colchicine I mean, applied to terminal pad of this of the branch of the plant. 
to produce is what I said, a fertile polyploid hybrid. In 1935, one of the known personalities, Nikolai Vavilov, is published the scientific basis of plant breeding. Also, the another one, Harlan in 1940, used the bulk breeding selection method in breeding. In 1944, the DNA was discovered to be the genetic material. Scientists then began to understand the molecular basis of heredity. A very Maclow, Macleod, and McCarthy also discovered DNA as an hereditary material. Happened also in 1944. 1945, Hall proposed recurrent selection method of breeding. 1950, McClintock discovered the ACDS system of transposable elements. 1953, the model for DNA structure was proposed by Watson, Kirk, and Wilkins. However, in 1970, Borlaug received Nobel Prize for the Green Revolution. Also during this time, Birch, Cohen, and Boyer introduced the recombinant DNA technology. 1994, the Flavo tomato developed as first genetically modified food produced for the market. After a year, 1995, Bitcoin developed. Also another year in 1996. The Roundup Ready Soybean introduced with the presence of glyphosate. In 2004, another Roundup Ready plants or crop in wet developed also. So to make it short, here are the milestones in plant breeding. So from crop domestication, where farmers select the best wild species to create crops, crop domestication. After that, in 2000 BC, the domestication of wet. In 1865, we have the Mendel's Law. This is just a shortcut of what we've discussed earlier. Also, the plant breeding based on cross breeding. Then, in 1926, the hybrid breeding. Crossing to genetically different individuals develop better performing hybrid. So the mutagenesis until in 1994 the mga of products and now we are on the targeted breeding using modern tools such as genome editing for more targeted breeding in the future just a question mark and the future will tell us more about plant breeding so stay tuned for that so the plant breeders response to global challenge so our major global challenges are the presence of pests climate change the less arable land the, ba the battle for water and the growing population so for the climate change in 2016 we have the average of 14.7 degrees Celsius of, of temperature and in 2020-50 it will be believed to increase to 16 degrees Celsius. So for the past, we'll, in 2050 we will increase in the amount of global crop production loss to past from 10 to 15%. 20 to 25 percent so and so on for example in less arable land we will we will have we will be, we will having a decrease in use per capita from 0 0.20 hectares for 2016 it will became 0 0.15 hectares in 2020 in 2050 so what are the response of plant breeder to the global challenges that we have tackled so 
Plant breeders develop improved plant varieties which can withstand pests and diseases with fewer crop inputs. The plant breeders also develop improved plant varieties which can stabilize and increase yields despite a changing climate and maximize resource use efficiency, the water, the land, and new nutrients. And that's the plant breeders work to respond to these global challenges. So thank you plant breeders for your initiative and for your for your knowledge in doing so. So here is the here is our reference for our discussion. And thank you for watching this learning video. Hope you learn a lot from this and that's all about historical antecedents of plant breeding and crop improvement see you to the next learning video